This portion of the news is brought to you by the new Shell and Letter, designed for extra miles. Welcome back to the Weekend Edition. Thanks so much for staying with us. Prime Minister the Right Honourable Perry Christie received a special gift last week, a book on the country's marine habitats. The book, titled Atlas of Shallow Marine Habitats of Kisal Bank, Great and Lilanagua, and Hogsdai Reef. The information was produced by the Khalid bin Sultan Living Oceans Foundation, and the Bahamas is just one of 15 countries they visited. The foundation's chief scientist, Dr. Andy Bruckner, explained the inspiration behind the publication to the Prime Minister. We know that coral reefs are in trouble right now. They've undergone major degradation over the last 20 or 30 years from a number of natural and um, anthropogenic factors, human-caused factors. And we really want to know where some of the gems are in the ocean, where these, these beautiful places are that we want to protect. We also want to understand how these reefs really function and what we can do to stop further degradation of these and start um, rebuilding them so they come back to their former glory. I'm fully supportive of all of the efforts being made because the bottom line is this. What will Bahamians 100 years from today see? What we do today will determine what they see. And that's how I thank them for helping us advance our knowledge of what exists in our country. Well, there seemed to be standing room only at the Melia Nassau Beach Resorts Ballroom in Cable Beach last night, all for a great cause. The 14th annual Cancer Ball brought philanthropy to the forefront. And as Jared Higgs tells us tonight, the society wants to raise $3 million to maintain their fight against the disease. It was a brilliant affair for a brilliant cause. Corporate sponsors, survivors and supporters gathered at the Melia Nassau Beach Resort for a night of great food, great company and of course great prizes. The Cancer Society's partner for the affair is Atlantic Medical Insurance Limited. Executive Vice President and General Manager Linda Gibson says the company is committed to the cause because it's aware of how costly the disease can be. And we know that um, cancer is a very expensive disease to treat and we know that the Cancer Society, they've been very instrumental in helping individuals who cannot afford things like even a pot of cat, you know, they would do whatever they can, screenings, mammograms, so education. Corporate sponsors were also well represented. The theme that everybody is affected by the disease was quite common, as expressed by the president of Commonwealth Bank, Ian Jennings, and BTC brand and promotions manager, Craig Eldon. Everybody knows somebody who's been affected with cancer in the Bahamas. We, we all know the prevalence of breast cancer. And it's just so important that um, Corporate Bahamas steps up to the plate to try and help find a cure. I personally had a very, very close cousin of mine two years ago that passed away from terminal cancer that he found out about maybe two months before his uh, demise. And so for all of us at BTC, this is something that's close to our hearts and it's something that we've sponsored for a long time and it's something that we will continue to sponsor. Dr. Homer Bloomfield has been a member of the Cancer Society for over 20 years and has attended every ball since its inception. The, the ball has been magnificent over the years and this year is no different. And the other pleasant part of the ball is that it's very entertaining. Everybody who comes here have a good time and can't wait for the next one. Uh, we also have a fundraiser due next Sunday, a telethon, where we're hoping to raise a significant amount of our demands for the new building, cost of $3 million. Ms. Juanita Pinder of Eleuthera was the recipient of the Susan Andrews Award for Exemplary and Outstanding Service. Jared Higgs, Zed Nassau Work News. Well, residents of South Andros also teaming up to fight against cancer. They will participate in a walkathon in that community tomorrow with Monday. President of the South Andros Cancer Society, the Reverend James Pratt, spoke to our Julian Gibson this weekend about the initiative and its impact for residents. We will have a walkathon on uh, starting from 6:30 in the morning, Brother Julian, and Brother Julian will be looking to walk from Long Bay Keys Park to the complex and from the. Uh, 
uh, Smithsell School to the complex and Brother Julian there will be south, south, south and much south, Brother Julian and a good time, Brother Julian I'm here as the president, we'll be heading off, already head off and get bananas and everything and we'll be walking in Gritsburg, Brother Julian for the Cancer Society and South Anderson, I'm here to visit the Cancer Society and Mango Key, Brother Julian. Well, good luck to all of those participating in that event tomorrow in South Andros. Well, today is being observed as Pentecost Sunday, and it marks the end of the Easter season on the Christian calendar and falls 50 days after Easter. Pentecost celebrates the descent of the Holy Spirit on the apostles. Wikipedia.com describes Pentecost by some Christians as the birthday of the church, and tomorrow will be celebrated as with Monday, the day after Pentecost. Well, that does it for this portion of the news. Stay tuned, though. We're the only station on the ground with reports from this weekend's regattas in Andros and Exuma. Kelsey Johnson is up next with sports.